Okay, so g'day. Welcome back. Sorry, I've got two screens. Got one up there, got one here. Camera's over there. So there you go. So today we're looking at the 2023 50 cent coin, uh, which has Her Majesty's. I'll just show you. So this is the one we are looking at. It is the effigy coin. And as you can see, it. So if we click on. Nah, better one. So if we click on the image, so it has all the effigies that we used on our coinage, Queen Elizabeth II, so there's six. And I think, um, so this one here was only a one year issue. So, uh, and this one was only used on pre decimal coins. So that's how you distinguish pre decimal and decimal coins is the change in the effigy here. So I think there's Mary Gillick. And uh, I can't remember the actual name. I don't really care. And the last one was Jody Clark. So in 2024, they should be changing over. So these were released on, oh, I really can't, I, I can't remember when they were released, but they started to be sold on the 20, 20, 18th of November. And as you can see, the price is around about $80 when they first come out. Oh, these were probably pre-sales. I think. Yeah, I can't remember when um they come out. Anyway, so uh, we have eighty dollars. So twenty third, twenty third. Then all of a sudden they shot up about fifty bucks. So you got one hundred forty, two hundred. So these are all sold items. So I would. I would say is that the coins that were eighty dollars, so these pre-sale ones, they probably would have been cancelled and relisted, probably on another account because you don't list them on the on your own account. And they say you're only supposed to have one account on eBay, but people probably have multiple ones, you know, like four, five, six. And a good thing about I looked at the coin shops, and a lot of them had one for sale per customer so you would have had to actually make a lot of accounts and if you have bots then you need to um, have different screens with different bots running just trying to get all these coins so you'd have to work overtime to actually get them so a lot of these resellers probably have only got ooh, probably only a few coins none of them have got like 20 or 30 like they used to in the past uh, now, do I purchase any of these coins? Nah, nah. I've got, I've got these coins. These are Turkish two and a half lira, from 1978. Here's another one from. Uh, it's 1961. Yeah, so I've got other coins you can get. Oh, those ones are for sale. So, but what I'm trying to get is the old, the first marker of Finland. Oh, what denomination do I need? I need 50 penny out. And oh, that's it. 50 penny out. So I just need one coin. So I've got one penny out. This is the uh, Civil War uh, issue 1917. And here we have the inflation after the Second World War. Oh, a bit tired. So this is 19, this is 1951, 50 marker. And the high denominations for silver. But they do issue nice commemorative coins too. So it's a 10 marker from 1970, 1975. And it has a form of present. Yeah, 1975. It's just a really nice coin, silver coin. I think it's 50% silver. Uh, pity about the doesn't have any milling or writing on the side. But it's just a nice coin. It's, yeah, so basically, if you want to collect coins, you've got quite a lot of other coins you can collect apart from these ones that we've seen here. Okay, so here's an Italian 500 lira. So these dates are on the side. Uh, yeah, still getting used to that camera. That's the normal issue, this issue for circulation. Czechoslovak 10 krona, 1930. Yeah, these ones you can get for about ten twenty dollars. 
Okay, one rupee, 1840. So this is probably worth about a hundred dollars. So it's an East India Company, but issued for India. So East India Company also issued coins for Malaya, but they were denominated in dollar and cents. So that's a nice coin there. So basically, if you miss out on this, eh, there's lots of other coins again. You're not really going to miss out. So anyway, so the price went up to $200 nearly. And they stayed there. So 23rd still. Oh, I'm still on the 23rd. God. So need to go up a few times. So 150, 26, 150 to 200. But now 27th, 130 to 150. And this one's four. We have 500, so it's about nearly $150 each. So you see from the price is starting to come down, 130. And... 29, 140, 130, so definitely lower than the 200 bucks that we're actually going for. And if we get to the current period, about 195, 125. Now this one's a different coin, it's a silver coin. Uh, yeah, so about 120 dollars roughly. We've got outliers still, 108. So whoever purchased that, obviously you're not going to get your money back. Um, and these ones, yeah. Mm. So for original fifteen dollars, people have made you know at least ten times their value. But as for the coin itself, it's actually quite a nice coin. So we have a nice effigy here, which is normal in the design, uh, not really imaginative, but obviously just designed to make money. And if you have the specifications, those designer is a ball, a ball, so a ball designed it, tennis ball, basketball, I don't know, whatever ball, okay, diamond and mass metal is just a normal 50 cent, 25,000 produced, so all these are sold out, so the only way you could actually get this coin is uh, probably ring up the mint and see if they have any in stock. So, completed items, get rid of sold listings, so we want to see what's currently on, and time in and soonest, so yeah, as you can see, people don't mind buying these for $100, if you want to buy it for $100 then, um, why not, I prefer to get it for issue price, if I don't get it for issue price, maybe double, 30 bucks, but if not, I'm not paying $100. But as you can see, people are unwilling to pay $150, five hours, no one's bid on that. This one's at $10. Obviously, they'll probably cancel that because it's less than issue price. Uh, $180, no bids. $260, people are probably not going to pay that much. $200, yeah, I would say probably $120, $130 is the maximum people are going to buy it for now. Because they see the price goes down. So, that's this is what happens every time there's a popular coin. Uh, it sells out very quickly. People, lots of people whack it on eBay. Price shoots through the roof. Then in a month's time, this will probably go down in price a little bit. Because, you know, the demand just peters out. The hype peters out. The FOMO peters out. No FOMO, fear of missing out. So, basically, if you want to get these coins, I'd just wait two, three months, see what happens. Obviously, you can see the price is going down at the moment, but, you know, we'll have to see in the future. Anyway, it's just a quick video. Maybe I'll make a video about something else. But, anyway, I'm going to say goodbye. Will I get this coin? Yeah, yeah, probably not. I've got too much other stuff I need to get rid of.